strongest, MG4 record good, and bad qualities. These days, even if you're not an environmentalist, you can find yourself tempted by the idea of driving an electric vehicle. Plenty has a plethora of advantages that can sway purchasers away from gas or diesel alternatives, despite the fact that new electric cars are typically more expensive than their engine-powered counterparts. But that's something MG wants to alter, and the brand new MG4 accomplishes so in the most efficient way imaginable. The name alone suggests it'll cause a stir in the industry, so does it meet up with expectations in terms of quality, mileage, security, and innovation? Stay tuned to Tech Electric to know everything. Even if you thought the MG5 and ZS were fantastic electric cars that everyone could afford without a six-figure salary, the MG4 is coming out soon, and it's going to cause a tremendous commotion. It'll have the distinction of being the first MG to be constructed on a dedicated all-electric chassis. Like Volkswagen's ID platform, which underpins a variety of vehicles, from the ID Buzz to the Cupra Born, the MG4's foundations, called the Modular Scalable Platform, or MSP, will eventually eventually give rise to further all-electric variants. Style of the MG4 When compared to previous electric MGs, the MG4 stands out as the sleekest and most unique. The lines are clean, the details are resolved, and the overall design is more indicative of a family hatchback than a compact SUV. The more expensive trophy models are distinguished by their unique roof color, roof spoilers, and unusual taillight design. Once inside, you'll immediately appreciate MG's high-quality, custom-built foundations. In this case, everyone can stretch out their legs comfortably thanks to the flat floor and the absence of an engine compartment. The 4 has a more open concept dashboard and, as a result, gives off a more modern vibe than the MG5 Estate, despite being a smaller vehicle overall. Like Volkswagen's ID models, this one has a tiny screen mounted directly behind the wheel and a larger one mounted high above the center console. MG, in contrast to the German automobile, has elected to replace the haptic switches and sliders with a row of physical buttons. In the driver's seat, the vehicle behaves less like an SUV and more like a conventional hatchback. Despite having to sit a bit higher than in a Volkswagen Golf or Ford Focus, for example, the car's steering column and seat offer enough flexibility so that you can find a good fit. The seats are ergonomically designed to support the user's back, sides, and thighs in all the right places. However, the SE model we tested did not provide enough lumbar support, and we had some minor back pain after an hour on the road. The gear selector plinth protruding from the center console is our only other major reservation. When entering quickly, those with longer legs may find the edge to be uncomfortably low. There's a nice amount of width and form to the boot towards the back. MG hasn't released an official capacity statistic, but the cargo floor is spacious enough to store a week's worth of stuff. However, the floor is not flat where the seats are folded down, and the cost cutting is also visible when you open the trunk. Energy storage and charging for the MG4 the MG4's battery is extremely low profile, measuring at just 110 millimeters in height. This allows MG to lower the car's profile without sacrificing passenger comfort. When you ride in the rear of the little car like the MG5 or a sedan like the Tesla Model 3, you won't have much room to put your feet. Work boots are welcome in the MG4 and there is plenty of room for both of your feet. The official WLTP rating for the smaller battery pack, 4, is 217 miles. This should translate to about 190 miles in the real world. The SE's larger battery pack gives it a 281 mile maximum range, but the trophy spoiler and added weight reduces its efficiency, reducing its range to 270 miles from the SE's 281 mile maximum. To the relief of drivers who have been limited by the MG5 and ZS's rapid charging capabilities, the MG5's maximum being 87 kilowatts, the MG4 can accept a rapid DC charge at speeds of up to 135 kilowatts. This implies a 150 kilowatt or quicker charge can fill the battery to 80% in just 31 minutes. The first wave of vehicles will have a 7.4 kilowatt AC charger installed, allowing them to go from empty to full in about 10 hours. The 51 kilowatt hour battery can take a 117 kilowatt DC charge. Traveling with an MG4. When compared to the Mazda 5 and the Suzuki ZS, the MG4 offers a more exciting and sporty ride. It has a low roof line and a small battery pack, so the body roll is minimal, and the steering is perfectly weighted and precise. Though it has a stronger, more athletic feel than the 5, the ride quality is satisfactory. It's not as comfy as the ID3 or the Cupra Born, and it gets a little jittery on rougher roads, but it's not uncomfortable by any means. But at highway speeds, there's a lot of wind and tire noise, with some whistling coming from the area around the windshield. 
The screen menu offers a whopping five different drive modes, the normal of which is rather sporty. Very athletic, almost to the point of being annoying in heavy traffic due to its brisk throttle reactions. Eco mode's nicer overall and more efficient, so we expect most owners to choose it. The brakes are adequate and there's an adaptable region that may be turned on and off manually or automatically. However, you will once again need to use the on-screen menu in lieu of a physical switch or paddles. However, it does its job adequately despite not providing a one-pedal driving feel. The MG4 we tested had the larger battery, so we knew that its engine must have produced more than 201 horsepower. That's adequate preparation for dealing with the uncertainties of real-world driving. The MG4's acceleration from 0 to 62 miles per hour takes just 8 seconds, and its top speed is 99 miles per hour, making it plenty quick for daily driving and the occasional overtake. The smaller battery variant generates just under 170 bhp, but has the same performance figures as the larger battery version because it's slightly lighter. Another rumored MG4 had twin motors, four-wheel drive, 400 horsepower, and a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 4 seconds. Costs and amenities of the MG4 the MG4 shines brightest in this regard. It costs between £25,995 for the base model with up to 217 miles of WLTP range, plus an extra £2,500 for the larger battery. The largest battery is standard on the top-of-the-line Trophy, which costs £31,495. That makes it more affordable than something like a Nissan Leaf, but it also gives it more interior room and convenience features. Most purchasers are more curious about the monthly financing cost. Although they are always subject to change, a regular range SE could be had for roughly £300 per month with a £4,000 down payment and a three-year 30,000-mile lease. This is due to the car's high predicted resale value, which reduces the monthly cost of ownership. Compared to the cost of an ID, this is the monthly savings of around £150, and you won't have to wait too long as MG predicts it'll have a few thousand MG4s ready to deliver by the end of 2022. In addition to being a significant step forward for MG, this vehicle has the potential to revolutionize the electric vehicle industry. It's not perfect, but for the price, it's a nice family car that handles well, has a respectable battery life, and charges quickly. Moreover, it can be rented for about £300 per month, making the overall cost of ownership reasonable for many families. Not only is there not a long wait time yet, but vehicles can be had in as little as two months. MG predicts it'll be the best-selling electric vehicle in the UK, surpassing the Kia Niro EV in the process. Tesla Model 3 is now the best-selling electric vehicle in the UK, and definitely deserving of success. All right, guys, I think it's just about time for us to wrap up today's video. If you like the video, then please leave us a like, and make sure you share it with all your friends and family and other car fans that you have in your inner circle. And if you have any questions or comments for us, you are always welcome to leave them for us in the comment space below. We always love to hear from you, our viewers. Make sure you also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more amazing content from us. And if we can ask you one more favor before you go, please press that bell icon on your way out the door. That way you're always updated of our latest uploads on our channel. Hey, thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you next time.